Hi there folks, welcome back to the channel. Um, not long ago, um, oh, not the camera, uh, you will have seen one of these boxes before. This is an Accurist box. I uh, did a review on a uh, Accurist Panda dial, um, which turned out to be quite popular. Now, uh, Accurist uh, been around since 1946, founded at the end of the Second World War, and uh, operated out of London. So, yeah, they've got a fair bit of history behind them. Um, now, Accurist in the UK is probably best known for their fashion watches, but they do have some really nice, very interesting pieces. Um not least of all would be the uh, the Panda Dial Chronograph, which I've already reviewed, and I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to catch up with that video. Uh, but this one is really, it's um, really just, it goes to show that uh, a brand like Accurist is not just a kind of a quartz watch one-trick pony, because what we have in here is the Accurist MB912B Automatic. Um, let me just slide that over. Out of the way for a minute. Get this off of the pillow. Um, this is kind of a cross between a, uh, a dress watch and a sports watch. And I just thought that it was interesting. Now, I'm not normally much of a fan of open heart watches. But I, I kind of found this a bit uh, interesting. Uh, because of the way that the, uh, the sub-dials are laid out. The way they cross over that, uh, that open heart. But before we get into uh, what I think about this, we'll get some uh, measurements out of the way for you. Where we have a case size from there to there of 43.5 mil. We have a lug to lug height of 49.5, um, uh, but we do have female end links so that they drop down at that 49.5. Okay, so there's nothing else out overhanging. We have a thickness. Of 12.5 millimeters and a lug width of 22 millimeters uh, the uh, finishing on the watch we shall get in a little bit closer so that we can have a look at that uh, we've got uh, polished sides unsigned crown transitioning with a little bit of a recessed edge onto the brushed top surfaces of the lugs and then a fully brushed bracelet the, uh, the bezel, high polish on the outside, and a kind of a matte finish to the inside of the bezel, which has got the, uh, the appearance of a rotating bezel, but this one does not rotate. Um, uh, smooth edges as well, so you've got no knurling on there to kind of give it the impression that it would turn. Uh, but it is all, all stainless steel. Uh, as we work our way down the strap, you can see we taper down to around about 18mm at the clasp, and the clasp is uh, your, your signed locking piece and then we open that up double deployant and we have a pressed clasp uh, on the uh, case back you can see we've got an exhibition case back and you've got the uh, model number the MB912 water resistant to 10 atmospheres so 100 meters all stainless steel and pure precision accurate um, just give that a wipe because, as usual, very high polished stuff, obviously a fingerprint magnet. So uh, I'll just clean some of that off so you can see. There we go. Um, and there we go. Miyota movement. Um, as I said, uh, it's uh, 21 joule and the uh, number of the movement is Miyota 8257. Uh, no hacking on this but there is hand winding um, and it looks like there's a little bit of a little bit of detailing and finishing gone onto the uh, the top of that movement and they get their own kind of hollowed out custom rotor which is quite nice you can also see that the bracelet is indeed solid end links and at this price point that's actually really nice to see but the uh, one of the nicest parts of this I think is the dial those uh, applied indices have got some uh, nice little facets to them and uh, they do catch the light 
And there it gives that a movement around there. You can see they catch the light really nicely. The uh, And the centre part of that dial has got that kind of that really nice kind of radial or radiating out pattern to it which uh, just kind of adds to some sort of different flavors going on with this one and uh, the sub dials uh, the one at the bottom here is your running seconds you can see that sweeping away and then uh, between that you've got the uh, between that and the 24 hour sub dial which is the one at the nine o'clock you've got your open heart with all the good stuff going on you can see that ticking away in there um, around the uh, the outer edge the chapter ring you've just got your five minute markers um, the ones on between the 12 and the three or between the 12 and the four actually look like they're red so uh, yeah you've got some uh, nice kind of color color bits kind of standing out a little bit in there it's quite nice um, and that uh, they really, I really quite like the way that they've done that bezel as well with that kind of uh, the you know the grooves going around the inside the uh, as I said that's all stainless steel um, but uh, yeah it's uh, it's actually really rather well done um, the uh, there is loom on this loom but it is on the hands only and it is not particularly good uh, I'm not really going to bother with the loom shop because it doesn't last very long but it is there um, yeah you'll be yeah if you get kind of 15 20 minutes out of it you'll be lucky um, the overall weight of this it's not a lightweight one it weighs in at 160 grams with all the links in um, we have a uh, push pull crown there is no signage on the crown but it's uh, for the amount of times that you'll need to uh, kind of get to it there is hand winding um, no crown guards if I had a, a kind of a, a not a complaint as such that crown could do with just being a little bit a little bit bigger um, so that uh, it's a bit easier to get hold of um, it's it, if you're using the hand winding I just find these crown guards just kind of just make it a little more difficult to get hold of but uh, I mean other than that I mean I actually think that this is actually really quite nice got some nice shaping to that uh, to that case as well and when you uh, when you're wearing it because of the uh, the profile of that case um, even though the uh, the screw down case back kind of drops down below it when you've got it on it actually helps to make the watch sit it actually doesn't look too bad um, it's you know quite quite low on the wrist what I'll do actually is I'll give you a wrist shot so we'll zoom out again um, what we would do if uh, I'd stop knocking the camera before we do that, on the wrist today is the uh, Save the Ocean Seiko Samurai, uh, the Great White Shark. Uh, I don't know if you can see there the little shark fin at the uh, at the eight o'clock, and the uh, spe rather specific end to that second. And there is a review coming up of this in the not too distant future, and also that it's going to go head to head with a Citizen Diver. We're going to do another comparison video, so that should be a bit of fun. Uh, but we'll get this one onto my seven and three quarter inch wrist, so that you can see what that looks like on. And I'll do the uh, traditional wrist roll. Now, I quite like the uh, that bracelet actually. It does sit quite nicely, and uh, you know, not just sort of straight links. They've got some nice angles going on there. But uh, like I said, it is quite a large watch. Uh, it's like 43 mil, but it's uh, it's not too bad at all, and it does actually sit down quite low on the wrist, as you can see. So yeah, quite a nice piece. You know, something else that Accurist do, which is uh, kind of a little bit beyond the norm, if you like. You know, they they are they are actually they really quite a, quite a good company. Um, and they do actually respond because I've had conversations with them as well. So yeah. Yeah, nice interesting piece. Uh, if you want to pick one of these up, the full retail is, uh, I believe, about 250 uh, British pounds, uh, which to me is probably a little too much. You can pick them up for about 150. I actually got this a little bit less in a sale on Amazon, um, and it was the last one, so I can't leave you a link to that, but I will try and find you a link uh, to somewhere else where you can pick one up. Um, anyway, there we go. 
that is the Accurist Automatic, the MB912B. Um, if, uh, if you like this watch, if you like this video and you want to see more like this, if you could give me a thumbs up, that would be excellent. And uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you uh, get notified when I upload any more content. Okay, that is it for now. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers for now.